Yes. Okay. I'm Anna Doom, North Carolina. October 6th, Pastor Anna, welcome to the call. Ready. <laughs> I hope I'm clear in the group. A live chat has started in our group page. And shout out to technology because it looks like I'm able to use my phone and show you my phone at the same time. So shout out to technology. Persistency always pays. So I am so excited about this. This is going to make everything so simple to show you guys that I can show you my phone on the screen. So if you are in the MIT group page, we want you to run over there. Um, let us know that you're on the line by tagging the teammates and just giving a shout out. And let me know if you can see me clearly in that group page. So let's get started. Um, I can't really see what time it is because when I connected to my computer, it says 9.41 a.m. And we know it's not 9.41. So <laughs> anywho, let me go ahead and mute the lines out. Conference muted. Conference recording started. All right, well, welcome again to our social media training. Tonight's training call is all about going live. And a lot of people on my team asked questions about this. Most recently, uh, maybe a few weeks ago, uh, one of my teammates had expressed to me that they wanted to do this, a, cro a cross sign buddy, all of that jazz. And so sometimes I think it's best where we learn how, uh, why something works, then it will really help us to uh, actually go and, and take action to making that happen, okay? And so I'm going to cover a couple things first, and then I'm going to show you on the screen. Because you see, you can see my phone. See, look, like if I wanted to go here, you can see everything here. This is so cool. Shout out to technology. Anyway, so going live is a tool that basically says, whatever platform, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, even some outside websites, you can go live on, which I just learned that like yesterday, which is like super cool. Okay. It's like amazing. And so, um, this has just become something that people have gravitated to because just like any, um, if you remember back in the day, we used to have something called pay-per-view and, um, it was, you pay per view where like they would have the big Tyson fights back in the day. And, you know, people would go, I know my dad would go to his friend's house and sometimes they, you would have to pay or you bring your own bag or something like that, or add to the bag, whatever the case is. But pay-per-view was such a big deal back in the day because this was live television. It was broadcast. It was happening at the time that you were watching it where most TV and television is pre-recorded. Uh, you can also, which we'll get into later now, I won't even bring it up. But so that's the significance of live television. It's, it's new, it's fresh, and it's happening now. Everyone wants to know or to follow or to see things that are happening right, right now. It's a huge, powerful tool that we all have access to. And it gives us access immediately to the, 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 um, the consumers that are looking for us. You're always here on these calls and, and on our team. We're looking for people who are looking for us. Okay, well, social media gets you to the people who are looking for you without having to do anything except for to expose or to have a presence on there. Now, if you're looking on this screen right now and in the MIT group page, Okay, it looks like I'm going cross that. Am I cross? <laughs> anyway, so you can see how big this screen is. This is the biggest advertising tool on the planet, okay? People go onto Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. 80% of them access it from a cell phone for probably more than six hours of the day. Not saying that they sit there on the phone for six hours, but for the first, like, the prime time hours, most people are checking in from the phone, the evening times, uh, surprise, not surprisingly, um, it's actually expected that most people are accessing online social media from a MacBook or a computer or a laptop of some sort. But most of the cases, 80% of the time, people are using this phone. 
So what does this have to do with live? That means that this little screen is in the palm of someone's hands on a consistent basis. So how do you get people to follow you on social media? Well, live video is an option that is phenomenal. Now, um, a couple of things that you I want to recommend before you do a live video is you want to pick a particular topic. You want to have something in mind. You know, a lot of times I see people on live and this is not anybody in our team or, or in our business for that most, for the most part, but some of my old friends, you know, you connected to the people you still connected to and they be all live like, ah, they just be sitting there talk about nothing. You don't want to do that. You want to have a topic. You want to have a specific topic that you want to talk about when it comes to live. Okay. The reason for this is because it's live and you don't want to be scattered brain. You don't have to be completely organized like to the T where you have it printed out an itinerary for my overthinkers or analytical people. You don't need to have it like written out completely, but you should have some key points you want to touch because people are going to ask questions. People can interact with you. You can also stop that from happening. And so you want to be prepared. You want to have a topic and you want to pick a topic that you can um, engage a lot of people, that it's thought provoking. Maybe it's funny or maybe it's about personal development. Maybe it's whatever, you know, it can be whatever, but you want to be creative in regards to the business. Let's say you want to talk about, um, you know, uh, the, the current state of healthcare. You want to talk about the um, living paycheck to paycheck. You want to talk about the mindset. You want to talk about reading. You want to talk about different things. Like on my page, which I'm going to show you in just a second, um, one of my seven figure mommy page on that page, I always talk about something to do with the seven figure lifestyle, whether it is um, through um, financially, spiritually, emotionally, and also fun. You know, part of all of the things that we desire to be and desire to be stable and a lot balance is fun. And so, um, it's not all fun, but part of it is fun. And so I talk about that on there. Um, why do I talk about general conversations and topics is because when we, when we say certain rules on social media, and one of those rules are that you want to be a giver. Okay. You do not want to be a, um, a taker, meaning like you don't want every single post that you put up every live video is like, Hey, who wants to sign up in my business? Who want to get this working? Who want to get this TAM app? Like you don't want to just be so bombarded with information. Again, the 80, 20 rule will go into place where I have said in the past and people change. Okay. It's okay to change. It's okay to change. I'm changing something that I said in the past and it's on record that I would say that the 80, 20 rule does not apply on your fan pages. That's not fully true. The 80, 20 rule does apply, but it applies a little differently. In other words, on your personal page, the 80, 20 rule, when you go live and you talk, of course, make it generic, make it something that is about you, but you can still tie it in, get them where you fit in. But only 20% of the time should you be coming up there like, hey, you know, I got a dental plan, sign up today. Maybe you should talk about how many people don't have dental. Uh, maybe you should talk about um, a child that you know who need dental work and their parents can't afford it and they just got the plan. Why don't you do testimonies? Those type of things. So what I mean by this is... Again, whenever you go live about the business or just live generally, you want to use the 80-20 rule. It's going to be a little different on your personal page. But on your fan page, okay, on your fan page, though, um, the 80-20 rule does apply in the sense of, like, on my fan page, which I'll show you, I talk about, like, how to build a team, um, how to grow a team, um, what to look for in a successful network marketing company, um, you know, how to do a live video or how to, uh, what are poly bags, you know, generic information that people can benefit from whether they join me or not. And also crucial information for the people who are looking to join with me. So you're, you're like a double blessing. It's a win-win situation for being on your page. And that's what you want to create. You want to create win-win situations 
for people who are on your page, regardless if they want to join with you, whether they want to learn from you, or whether they just want to be entertained, I guess, you know, but for the most part, they should be benefiting in some form or fashion from your page, whether it's through the content that you post, whether it's through the laughs that you provide, or the ideas that you give, that's what you want to create on your page. So the 80-20 rule does apply, but you don't want to post on there that, you know, I mean, you could if you want, again, different strokes for different folks, but you want to keep it generically about you. Strategically, be 80. your 80% should be structured strategically, okay? Let's get back to the live. Now, as you prepare, you pick your topics, you want to... A lot of people are nervous to go live, which I did not know. I guess live is just like standing in front of the room. One key thing to remember when it comes to live is that you can end the live video, number one. Number two, you can delete the live video, okay? So if you mess up or you, um, I don't know, you feel like you, I don't know, like you just get nervous. I don't know. Okay, you can end it. So that's one thing that can kind of keep the butterflies out of your stomach when you start to prepare to do these live videos. Now, the third thing that you want to keep in mind is that people like live. If I didn't already say that, let's throw it in there. People love live. Okay, people love live. I did mention like the pay-per-view and people want to, there's a lot of network marketing companies out there. Okay, there's a lot of junk out there. Okay, and unfortunately, you know how they say the bad story, spoil it for everybody. There's if there is skepticism about the industry, not about you, not about your company, but about the industry. Granted, ten out of of uh, ten out of uh, ten network marketing companies out there, only th three to four of them you could really generate a substantial amount of income and be prosperous and long term. Okay, Ameriplan is one of them, if you're wondering. And so, um, so of course, people have walls up. Live videos crush those walls. That's the fourth thing, okay? I hope somebody is writing this down or maybe you can put it in the thing because um, I want to make sure I remember all this. So anyway, so that's number four is that people love live because it breaks down the walls of skepticism of who this person really is. They can see you. It's not in person, but it's the daggone sure closest thing to it, okay? Just like right now, think about how you feel right now. You know, normally we have the call on the phone. But if you're in the in the MIT group page, you can see me. It's a totally different ball game. Totally different ball game. Like when I speak to my sister, I spoke to her the other day. It, it's nothing like talking to her through FaceTime versus talking to her through just the telephone or anybody, really. And so I just want to encourage you to not be scared to do live because it's effective. It's extremely, extremely effective. Now, I'm going to number five in regards to effectiveness. The reason why I love live is because of the ability to share to groups so easily. See, when you post a, and I don't know why they did it for just this, but when you post a video, like a pre-recorded video, you post it up, you want to share it. Remember, I told you about resharing. Okay, if you did not, if you don't have no idea what I mean about resharing, go into the group page, hit search, um, very soon we'll have all of this stuff organized so that you can have full access to this. Okay, full, full access to this information so you don't have to always go back. And it's it's something that you actually can um, um, take full advantage of, okay? All of the different lives that we had in the past. But anyway, if you go into our group page for now, you can type in uh, social media training, resharing. Resharing, when you reshare a post, you're going to have to reshare to each group like this. Boom, 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 boom. And it's not hard, but with live videos, you can simply, and it, after you record it or during while you record it, um, you can, when you click the live video, you'll be able to just click share to this, 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 this. It's like boom, 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 boom. You, you can do it like 10 times faster if it's not a live video. Okay. Now for the people who are thinking like, Kira, I do not like being on no live. I do not like being in front of the room. I do not like talking about 
anything, you know, regardless. I had, they used to have audio. I personally haven't saw that, but I will get back to everyone if audio is still available. The last time I checked, it wasn't. But you could go live and not show your face. Maybe you talk about the plan and you just hold it up like this. You cover up the screen or whatever you want to do. I mean, there's ways of going about it. Everyone has different personalities. Your personality is your personality and people will appreciate that. You will attract people when you're authentically yourself. You have it prepared. It's something that is either funny or fun or it's thought provoking or they're learning. Most cases, people love to um, laugh and learn. That's my motto. That's the thing that I think I have gotten really good at over the years. That's something that I love to do. I love to help people laugh, but I also love to be a beacon of light to more and new information, whether it's through my cooking, whether it's through how you can uh, be more effective in business, whether it's some, um, you know, personal development or any enlightenment aha moment. That's what, in the moment of even those really serious moments, I think, being able to make them laugh is just really awesome. But again, it, that doesn't have to be you. There's people who I watch on live and they just mellow tone, but I get good information from it. And so you want to structure your time into re, in regards to, to going live. Um, and again, there's so many different ways. And then they have like now with live, and I'm going to show you now in like two minutes, one minute. You can also have like the fun filters now. If you want to be a cat instead of Zykira, or if you want to be um, Sheree, if you want to turn yourself into a pumpkin for Halloween, you could because of these new features. So if you look right over here, over here, to this side here, I'm going to open up my screen, uh, my phone, because again, the reason why I want to show you from this angle is the fact that, um, you know, most people do use it from their phone. This is the easiest way to do it. You don't. Um, have to be in front of a computer, but you do need to hold it. So um, a little hint or feature that I recommend, um, if you're going to take live and all this stuff pretty serious, where is my, oh, there it is. Hold on. Un momento, one second. I want to show you this. Um, if you begin or decide to do live videos on a consistent basis, you can pick you up a selfie stick. And selfie sticks hold the phone they have Bluetooths on them, like this right here. I have a blue, this is a Bluetooth that connects to my phone. So if it's all the way over there or what angle I want it on, um, you can turn it, your camera on and off from this, okay? Um, you can't really do that with live though. I don't know, think about it. This comes all the way up and it even has a tripod. You can get this for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. It holds the phone and you can be extremely effective with, um, being able to let your audience see you right now. I'm live on my MacBook, so I don't really have to hold it, which is really cool. Um, because on the computers or your PCs, Facebook has made it so where you can go live and you can go live. If you have any kind of Apple products, you need to use Google Chrome to go live where you don't need like another program. I am going through a program because on the live on Facebook or um, when you go live on your computer, you can't like show your screen and all of this fancy stuff. So certain things you do need a program for. So let me show you how to go live on your phone. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be carrying this in my pocketbook people. Anyway. So anyway, so let's go, let's start with face. Let's start with Instagram. I'm always on Facebook. For those of you who are on Instagram, um, look at them. Dang, that is, let me like that real quick. That does three generations of apps. That's not inspiring. I don't know what would be inspiring. So here, this is my page that I promote the business in. Um, I do patterns, all that stuff. We're not going to talk about that. We're talking about live. So to go live on Instagram, all you do is go to this top corner here. Okay. With that little camera. Oh, wait, that's I, that's not live. Okay, so you want to click that. And at the bottom corner, you see at the bottom, you can slide it left and right. You can go live. You can do a normal video, a boomerang video. That's my favorite video, like a boomerang. We'll talk about that another time. Music, all is Zoom, focus, but let's go to live. So if I wanted to go to live um, on Instagram, I would hit, it. Would, you hit live, check in. Would, Instagram is a little different. You can't really... Um, 
it says live video pause. I guess it's because I'm on the phone. I don't know. But when you go live on Instagram, you can't really put a title up. Um, so you really are going to get views based off your influence when it comes to Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to end that. Oh, oh gosh, hold on. I message her after this. So where was I? Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to end this because it says it's paused. I'm assuming because I'm on the phone or maybe because it's connected to the computer. I don't know. So when you go live on Instagram, um, you click that button, but you can't really put a title or really anything there. You can do hashtags at the bottom here. But right now I'm live or it's paused. So we're going to hit end. That's how you go live. Now, when you go live, it's live in your story for 24 hours. You can take make that option go off, or you can keep it on, or you can share it to your timeline, or you can save that. I'm not going to save that. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, discard that video. Okay, now, that's one way that you go live through Instagram. Another thing, another way that you can go live is through your Facebook pages. Now... I like this. This is the app I've been telling you guys about because, again, as you can see here, all the different pages that I manage or that I'm a part of, I, you know, this, I can't see nothing on my Facebook page. This is only business. This is business pages. So, for example, if I wanted to go here to the page that I promote my mirror plan business, um, here all I would do is hit, not that, you would hit publish. You will go down to that little camera looking red thing that look like an eyeball and then you hit live video okay now with Facebook you can put a title um, it's not letting me it's probably really confused because it's connected to the computer I'm just gonna hit anything here okay I'm gonna see if it go live it probably oh, it went live can it see me okay it's showing nothing because I am live Connect, well, I'm connected to the phone, so it's not going to show exactly what's on here because if I disconnect this, you're not going to see anything, okay? So um, that's the live video. That's how you go live through the Pages app. We're going to finish this up. Oh, come on. Live videos must be four seconds. That had to be four seconds because... All right, let me unplug it. Let me hit finish. Like I said before, I probably have confused it tremendously because, uh, let's see. Oh, no, I might have, I might have made a mistake. Can y'all see this? No, you can't see it. Um, hold on, guys. Don't hang up. I'm just going to do take five seconds to end the call, and then I'm going to open it, come right back on. Hold on one second. Don't hang up. For those of you who are on, okay, boom. All right, we got it back. I knew that I would have to do that because... Please enter your six-digit conference code. I knew I would have to do that because... Okay. Attendees in this conference. The host has joined the conference. Okay, so I'm back, guys. Sorry about that, but I wanted to come back on so you could see the screens. So now, this is a live video that I did when I made some muscles. I made muscles today. That muscle was banging. So I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. I'm going to just turn the volume off. Um, but here, I wanted to show y'all how easy it is to share in groups when you use Facebook Live. So here, I'm going to go to share groups. This is about food, so I'm not going to share this into every single group. But I am going to share this into groups that are like about food. Um, oh, I think I'm blocked. I haven't been blocked in so long. But certain groups, for some reason, is still working. So I'm going to just keep posting. Okay, so here, as you can see, you can just type if it's a specific group that you want to do. It's not letting me type. Okay. All right, so that's like one. I'm going to go to my other page. It's not letting me type nothing. That really sucks. Again, the computer and the phone is being used to its maximum capacity. And I think I'm confusing it because I am live in multiple places. And so, um, again, I just want to show you this real quick. Let me see if they have a live video tab. It doesn't look like they do. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is a live video. Okay, so like this here, 
I would share this to anything to do with business, uh, work at home, like boom, boom, uh, boom. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you see how easy it is? Y'all get the point, okay? Let me not sit here and do that <laughs> call. So we got about three minutes left. Let me see if we have any questions about anything that I just covered. Let me see if there's any questions in here. I love live too. Need to be more consistent. Yes, people start missing your live, Demetrius. Um, be very, very, well, very consistent. It's consistent. The most consistent, the more consistent I am, um, with live videos, you know, it's just more opportunity to be in front of people. Okay. So, um, let's see here. And then you could pick a day. Like this one girl, she inspires me so much. Cause she always comes on. She has motivational Mondays. She has like Kat Wilson. I don't know if she's on the line, um, listening into this. But I know Kat used to have like two, um, Toothy Tuesdays, you know, this is like hearing is out of coming from Toothy Tuesdays or whatever you want to call it, right? And so, so yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Hi, Cynthia. I see you watching, Cynthia. Let's go. RSD. I see Jackson. Hi, Jackson. RSD. Jackson, give me a call. Jackson has been avoiding me. I'm putting him on blast because he's one of my teammates in Texas. And I'm ready to help him go RSD. And he has, I have not heard from him. I don't know where he at, but I see him in a live video. So Jackson, give me a call. Give me a call. Let's go. No, everyone see, I'm trying to reach out to Jackson in Texas. Okay. Anyway, so let's see if we have any questions. I don't see any questions on the live feed. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go in here one more time. Hello. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Anna. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia, I tried to call you too. I'm putting every, all my teammates on blast to call me. Let's make, let's make this happen this week. This is closeout week. Okay. Let me open up the lines. Any questions tonight? Conference unmuted. Any questions? Any... Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's Aretha. Hi, Aretha. Um, this is pertaining. How are you doing? This is pertaining to the TAM um, meeting in Brooklyn. Is there any way that TAM meeting can be posted each month? What do you mean, like in the group page or just general? Yeah, in, in the group page. I'm sorry. Yeah. It can be. It's just somebody has to do it. So if you want to take that responsibility. No, that's the problem. I'm, I'm having a, an issue with that because every time I create an event, it doesn't do it properly. So I was just asking. And oh. then after, after you set it up, then I would have to, I guess, um, uh, what do you do? Schedule it. Okay. Schedule. Well, what we do for the Raleigh meeting, what, what we do for the Raleigh meeting is uh, we have the same exact group. Um, and this, and I'm going to take time to answer this, but, um, you know, we want to stick to the topic of, of the Facebook live. Um, and so you can re you can create one event and just before the event ends, you can always change that. I will do a event po event. Um, I won't do it this week, but the following week I will do, cause we have LinkedIn next week and we have, um, we can do it the following week after that. We will do events, okay? But any any event page, I personally do recommend, if you want it to be for just you, I would definitely do it on your own page. If you want it to be for everybody, then you can do it in the MIT page. Oh, for everybody. Everybody in Brooklyn. Right, okay. It'll be easier because I'm finding that I'm having a hard time um, for some reason. Okay. So I can figure it out. Well, we'll have, you know I'm here, so we can talk offline about that just to stick to topic, okay? Okay. Great question, though. Anybody else have a question about tonight's training? Any questions? No other questions. All right, well, I want to see some live videos. I challenge you to do a live video before now and next call. Um, share it to groups. Make it a get in where you fit in post. And... Um, October 6th, all roads are headed to Raleigh, North Carolina. 
600 Glenwood Avenue. It's going down. So invite, invite, invite. Get yourself there also, especially if you need that boost of energy. Sometimes, um, you know, we can get caught up in the virtual. We're talking about, ironically, we're talking about live. Yes, live is the closest thing to re real, but ain't nothing better than real. So get on the plane, get on the train, get in the car. October 6th is going down. Tomorrow night, we have an explosive training with Karen Creasy. I have no clue what it's about, but you can't invite people because it's all about the benefits, um, something about the benefits that's going to help you to continue to grow your business. And so if you're, on a, if you're um, serious about the business, be on that call tomorrow night, same number, same pen. Um, tag your teammates, same, same exact time we're on right now. And we'll see you at the top here in the mirror plan, everybody. Let's, uh, but let's blow out these tan bonuses. There's people out here that's looking for dental. There's people out here who's looking for, um, opportunity big time. I don't know if y'all was on that corporate call, but big time they're looking for opportunity. So I want to encourage you to not let this last week just slip by because next week, uh, we will be in the we will be in the first of October, the next social media call. So again, God made the whole world in seven days. You certainly could reach your goals in certain uh, seven days. Y'all have a blessed one. Good night, everybody. Peace. Woohoo! You're welcome. Come in. Good night. Number one team. Come here, baby. Invalid option. That's my baby. Say hi. Say hi. I'm still alive. That's my baby, y'all. Y'all remember Zaire? Look how big my baby is. <laughs> Good night, baby. Love you. Bye, everybody.